nonprofits really are the organizations that make a community thrive and often solve a lot of the social issues uh, across the country, but certainly in rural Colorado. Rural Philanthropy Days is really an opportunity for those nonprofits to engage with the funding community kind of on their level, where they're at, and it's an opportunity for the grant makers to really see what life in rural Colorado is like. There are 12 core funders, including the Colorado Trust, of this program. So the Front Range funders participate by coming out to the conference to meet with grant seekers, to collaborate about opportunities um, that are going on in the region to solve social issues, uh, to build networks, and eventually to go through the grant seeking request process. In June, we were in Rifle. In September, we were in the very small community of Creed, Colorado. Their community center is in an old mine, so it's a cave. And so that's where we had many of our, of our sessions, was in a cave. That's how we, one, showcase the, the community, but also to meet the goals of bringing together several hundred folks. What makes Rural Philanthropy Days unique is that over three days we build in lots of networking opportunities. You get these amazing opportunities to meet with funders, with other nonprofits uh, that might do similar work and really informally talk about your work and see how you can make change. It's uh, one of probably the most rewarding uh, programs that we work on every year. Um, one, because we get to meet incredibly courageous, resilient people throughout rural Colorado, but we also get to see the impact of our work when we see collaborations happen and partnerships thrive and the social issues solved. So from the get-go, people are excited about it. $129 million to rural Colorado over the last six years is a pretty significant observation and measurement of the success of this program.